When you first take the Brother 1034 D serger out of the box, it actually is threaded. And there is some small spools of thread, you can see them there, that will get you started. Even the chain and the little sample is right here. So let me show you how you can get started without having to know anything about this serger. Now we are gonna teach you how to tie on these threads onto the ones that are in the serger. And we're also gonna teach you how to thread it from scratch. And that is the one, you, that video is really the one you want to master because once you have the knowledge of how a serger works, it's actually a lot easier. And when you know how to thread it, this becomes such a gentle beast that you two will become quick friends as you go. So when you see the chain, that means that you can just, you can even step on the foot control and it will just keep on chaining. Now before you start, what I would like you to do is look behind the serger and just make sure none of the threads are wrapped underneath the spool. If they are, just kind of wrap them um, next to the thread and make sure that they aren't caught. If they get caught, they're gonna pull and break. So that's why I wanna tell you that. Then what you can do is take a piece of fabric, just a piece of um, cotton fabric's fine, but what I want you to do, and you're gonna see me do this all throughout the videos, is fold it in half. You'll also see that I'll serge the fold off. And when I talk about serging the fold off, you're gonna notice I'm gonna lay some of the fold off the edge of the serger, because that's where the knife is. And as I just step on the foot control, it will just guide the fabric in, it'll pull it in by itself. So you don't actually have to lift and lower the presser foot, which you can right here. But when you just wanna jump right in and get started, you have thread in the serger, and then watch this. Gently pull as it goes out the back with no fabric, and underneath the front presser foot, and step on the foot control. That makes the knife go up and down and it makes this cut. And this is what it looks like when you stitch a regular four thread overlock. So we're gonna get into understanding tensions. That's why we're gonna put on four different colors of thread. So as we look at them, you can see that the blue one's here and the yellow one's here. And if we need to change them, where and how we go about doing so. Before we get started though, we're gonna take you to the next video, which is going to, we're gonna cut these threads, pull it out, clear the surgery of all threads, and thread this machine from scratch.